Welcome. Welcome to She Rises. Have you noticed things are a little out of balance in the world? <laughs> Do you remember a story from your childhood about Chicken Little, who ran around telling everyone the sky was falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and no one would believe her? Well, they say that women hold up half the sky. So maybe the sky is falling because we can't break through that glass ceiling to hold up our share of it and to open the sky to the heavens to rain down on earth. And so tonight, we're going to change that. We're going to dedicate this evening to women rising into leadership, to taking their power in conjunction with men in partnership. And some of the archetypes you will meet are ancient and have been lost and forgotten. And some of the archetypes are just emerging, just becoming. And some of them we know well, and you will recognize them in your own hearts. But archetypes rule and shape our lives. So the archetypes that we live shapes our society. So tonight, we welcome and call in these archetypes to dance within your heart, to dance into the world again, and to bring us into balance and hold up the sky together. So maybe the universe didn't begin with a masculine Big Bang climax, but as a slender, tender thread spun from the spinning wheel of the spinner, who is the first of the three fates that determine all our destinies. So we welcome the spinner to spin the fate and begin the evening. I am the spinner, the cosmic beginner. It is here we begin, and here that I spin life from the dust of the stars. I am the originator, the first idea, the barest slip of awareness awakening in the night sky. I am the spinner. I spin the thread from which your destiny is woven. I am the conception of your fate from which you cannot escape. I spin truth into existence, out of the first whisper of the tale. Spin the galaxies into spirals to find the unique thread that is you. I began long before you were born. I was here before the mother conceived, before the creatrix created, before the music of the spheres sang their symphonies, before the dancer danced. I am endless. For I am the beginning. Here, now, I give you this thread. Here, 
Now it is time for you to become. I am the spinner. I begin. Welcome, spinner. We embrace you. So the spinner spins the thread that is the core principle, the core idea, the DNA that makes us who we are. But it is the mother that gives birth to us, as the mother gives birth to all of life. We all came from the mother. Let us honor her for the life that she gives, that life may continue. Come to us, mother. Bless us. I am mother. I am the miraculous beginning of all life. From me, all things are born. Through me, all things are sustained. I am the fertile one with swollen belly and pendulous breasts. and the grain growing in the fields, and the fruit ripening on the tree, and the oceans and forests teeming with life. I am the dawn giving birth to the day. I am Gaia the living earth. I am Nut, the universe of stars. I am Demeter, searching for her daughter, Persephone. I am Mary, mother of Jesus. I am Teresa, mother of compassion. I am your mother, and I am the mother within you. I am the line of all mothers through time who sacrificed and loved the world into being. I am the first leader you ever knew leader of my children, my family, my community. And no, I always lead with love, even when I hold my limits. I am a mother, the provider, the nurturer, the teacher, the matriarch. Children, my children, come to me when you need me. Remember me even when you've grown up. My son, my daughter, you are always within me. I am always within you.
I am mother, I nurture. Welcome, Welcome mother. We, we embrace you. Oh, wow. mama. So the mother gives birth, as she is going to do very soon. <laughs> and she gives birth to boy babies and girl babies. And the boys grow into lads, into men. And the girls grow into maidens. And the maiden in our world is not safe. The maiden in our world is not respected. But the maiden holds the promise the renewal of springtime, the first blush of the goddess. She is our future. Welcome, maiden. I am the maiden. I am the promise of renewal, the miracle that springs forth from the death of the old. I am the untouched beauty. I am the virgin forest, the new dawn, the spring flowers, the soft skin, the supple body, Eyes and smile still full of hope for the future. <laughs> I am the daughter who carries the mother line. I am Kore become Persephone. Goddess of the springtime, I am the laughter of innocence. <laughs> the flowers poking up from the snow, the tender shoots of new life, the rainbow's arc as the storm subsides. Men see the goddess in me and take me like a flower from the forest. But I must be alone to find my own way in order to become all that I can be. Leave me to bloom in my own time and I will blossom into mother and eventually into the wise old crone. For I carry them all in my tender, sweet maiden heart. I am the maiden, I promise. Welcome, maiden. maiden we embrace you. Well, with beauty like that, it certainly isn't very long before the maiden becomes the lover. Can you remember the first feeling of that first love you ever had? Welcome, the lover.
am the lover. I am the soft feathered wings that caress your tender soul and bid your heart to open. I am the desire that burns within you, longing for intimate connection with another, longing to know and be known, to see and be seen, to have and to hold. I am the seductress. I call you to the sensuousness of life. The pleasure that I give and receive are but a gateway to the greater mysteries of deep communion. There are those who have sought to enslave me, but I cannot be owned or controlled. Some have sought to deny me, but it makes them empty and cruel. For those who have sought to shame me, it makes their thirst for my touch even stronger. I have been here since the world was made, calling things into relationship. You cannot forget me or put me aside. Without me, there would be no life, no children, no joy. I love with my whole being. I move worlds with my passion. I weep when I am forgotten. And everyone comes to me in the end. I am the lover I cherish. Lover, we embrace you. So the lover represents the love between humans. But what about our love for nature? For the natural world, the bird song, the forest, the rain, the fields, the streams, the oceans, all of which are threatened. Without our love for nature, our future is lost. So we must keep that bridge open and we call on the shamana, who is the bridge. I am the shamana. I am one with all living things. The trees and the plants are my flesh. The animals and the birds are my essence. My breath sings the language of life. The boulders and the stones are my wisdom and I flow with the dance of creation. 
When we lived in tribes, I was your earth mother. I sang by the starlit fires, enchanted the children with stories. I knew which plants to eat, how to call in the animals for food, caca! How to work with the spirits for healing. I held the magic of our ancestors. I am the Shamana born again. I beat the drum to the heartbeat of life. I dance the dance of the mystery of creation. I shake the rattle for your healing, and I guide you when you have lost your way. I am not civilized. I do not fit in your society. I am pure connection, too powerful to be contained. So come to me. Come to me when you tire of this modern life, when the walls that surround you beg to be broken, when your eyes grow weary from the roof that blots out the sky. Come to me when you are ready to release all that you think you know, and I will show you the way to another world. I will let the unbridled power of nature ignite your cells and give you a direct experience of truth. I am the Shamana, and I bridge. Shamana, we embrace you. But when the shamana's world is threatened, as it is now, when young maidens are threatened and not safe, when the future is threatened, we need the fierceness of the protectress. Welcome. Protectress. I am the living barrier between what has been plundered and what remains. I stand resolute in my purpose. I am the protectress. I vigil through the night, guarding what is precious, protecting my children, my daughters, my sisters, my sword, ready to defend all that is sacred. As a protectress, I demand respect. I will not let you plunder the forests, pollute the skies and seas, or steal from our future. I will not let you pass where you may cause harm. I stand not for myself, but for the voiceless ones. I stand for the silent trees who cannot scream when the chainsaw bites. I speak for the animals who cry in their own language. I stand for the children, too young to protect themselves. I am an activist marching the streets. I am a stateswoman legislating protections. I am a benefactress contributing to causes. I am a peacemaker protecting against war. Honor my limits, and you will have a future. Cross me, and I will turn into the warrior. Respect me, and you will have a world that you can cherish. 
I am the protectress. I defend. Welcome, protectress. Embrace you. Oh, and we need you. And sometimes we do need the fierceness of the protectress. But sometimes we need the softness of compassion. Sometimes in the depths of our pain, we need to feel the soft feathered wings of the angel of mercy. I'm the angel of mercy. My essence is compassion. No suffering is too great for my healing touch. No sin too egregious for my redemption. Through me, hope is restored. I am the infinite grace that appears when your efforts have been exhausted, when your limits have been reached. Where the world is cruel, I bring gentleness. Where the world is hard, I bring softness. I come to you in your deepest suffering, I appear in the depths of your darkest night. I come to you when you have fallen to your knees in despair, for it is only then that your soul cracks open enough to receive me. I am the balm of forgiveness. I am the caress of tender care. My currency is kindness. My wings, the feathers that give flight to your heavy heart. And when you have lost your way, I carry you in my tender arms, asking nothing in return. I am here to demonstrate the infinite power of love. I am the angel of mercy. I care. Welcome, angel of mercy, we embrace you. So we've had the fierceness of the protectress and the delicate touch of the angel of mercy. And now it's time to have a little fun. Let's kick it up a little with the mistress of play. I am the mistress of play and the light and love of laughter. Mm. Mm. It is time for us all to lighten up. Mm. Think of the cosmos and the 
galaxies, millions of galaxies, billions of stars. Dance with the stars. <sighs> Spark the joy in your heart and return to the innocence of a child who's fully toilet trained. Be amused by your foibles. Be amused by other people's peculiarities. Be amused by everything. But mostly, be amused. <laughs> Awaken that sense of irony and wit and wisdom in yourself. Hear funny. Example. I am a follower of the I Ching. And you know what follows the I Ching? The scratching. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Traveling, staying with family. And one night I went out to dinner with friends, came home. My cousin asked, what did you have for dinner? I said, duck. He says, well, how did they prepare the duck? I says, you know, you really can't prepare a duck for something like that. <laughs> Maybe a blindfold. We're going for a long ride. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hear funny. The light of laughter dispels and breaks the spell of darkness. I am the German fun lady. We have ways of making you enjoy yourself. You will be happy and have fun. Remember, life is a joke. God, the creator is watching the comedy channel. We're what's on. <laughs> <laughs> so, renew your soul with laughter and bring that joy and mirth back into your heart and being. looking at you, kids. <laughs> I am the god, the, the mistress, and the goddess of play. And I bring you laughter. <laughs> Thank you, mistress of play. of the forms of play we've had is to dance. Women have been dancing since the beginning of time. They danced in temples. They danced at weddings and funerals. They danced to birth their babies. They danced in ceremony and ritual. Let us call on the dancer whose language is movement. Welcome, dancer. <laughs>
Welcome back, my friends, to the second act. To the second act of a woman's life. The first act is the younger phase, and she may have a singular focus, one strand from the spinner. She might be obsessed with her lover. She might be a new young mother. She might have one career that she's following, that she's pursuing, one strand. But as she gets older, there's many strands, and life becomes a little more complex. She may be many archetypes in one. And so we welcome the second of the three fates. We welcome the weaver, whose name, Lachesis, meant the allotter, for she allotted the length of your life. It is I who abides from beginning to end. The spinner gives birth to me with her luminous thread. The cutter completes me with the edge of her sickle. It is I who decides the length of your life. I am the weaver. I am the warp and the web, the shuttle and the reed. I move incessantly back and forth, over and under, to weave your life into meaning. I bring together the alchemist and creatrix to weave your life into beauty. I am the weaver. It is I who decides the length of your relationships How long your business will thrive. How long your journey will be from beginning to end. I rule 
over all that is between. So tell me your purpose, and I will allot what you need to fulfill it. Weave my life into beauty, and you will have all that you need to find prosperity. I am the fabric of your purpose, but what you do with it is up to you. I am the weaver. I am twine. Welcome, weaver. We, we embrace, embrace you. you. So the weaver weaves the fabric of reality from all sorts of polarities, heaven and earth, spirit and matter, inside and outside, light and dark, and masculine and feminine. And so among all these feminine archetypes, we want to honor the masculine. So let us welcome the man. divide. I pursue and I conquer. I hunt and provide. I think. I count. I figure. I label. I manipulate matter. Bring food to our table. I am the boy who played with my toys. I am the man who builds and destroys. And my sensitive side has been long unemployed. I am father son, brother, and uncle, too. I impregnate the females to make more of you. I shape the world to my preference. I predict and direct using me as the reference. When I embrace you, goddess, in all of your forms, we can create anything while doing no harm. Together we prosper, raise young, and maintain. In collaboration, we can lift and sustain. Come, feminine, partner, twin flame, and goddess. Let's make love 
and let's make dreams and clean up this mess. I am man. I am Now with the weaving of masculine and feminine, light and dark, the weaving of many threads, the weaving of potions, the weaving of mystery, we want a certain alchemy to make it all work. And so we call upon the alchemist to bring her magic. I am the blender of the elements to transform the mundane into the elixir of immortality. I am the alchemist, knitting together seamlessly the puzzle pieces of reality. I am the whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. I I'm the alchemist. I am the lengthy preparation that makes for quick work. Without me, you would be ordinary. But with me, you can fly to the height of your grandest dreams effortlessly when the time is right. You can't always see me. But you know when I am present, I bring that secret ingredient, that ingredient that no one knows is missing until they find it. I am the spark of life in all creation. I seek the highest purpose, the purest vibration, the ultimate awakening. I take you to pure gold. I take you to pure gold. One of the most ancient forms of women's leadership was the priestess who at one time was one of the most respected members of society. But how many priestesses do you know compared to the number of priests? How many goddess temples compared to the churches, synagogues, and mosques? We must honor the priestess who is the keeper of the mysteries of magic and the healer of the ways. Welcome, priestess. Priestess, I am the living conduit of the goddess. My duty is to serve her above all else. Through me, she remains alive in the hearts and minds 
of her people. I am the guardian to her mysteries. I am the mistress of magic. I am the keeper of her temple. And I am a weaver of the ways and a guardian to her mysteries. I come to you as maiden, as mother and crone. I am the oracle uttering words of the divine. I am the alchemist with her scents and potions. Always the midwife standing between the worlds. I stand at the threshold between the unknown and the known, guarding her mysteries with my life. Once I was revered, you may remember, I walked the lands freely. I blessed the animals and the herds thrived. I blessed the crops and there was plenty. I blessed the soldiers as they went off to war. And I loved them when they returned. But after they raped me, after they destroyed my temple, after the goddess's words were forbidden from my lips, the herds began to get sickly. You know the story. The crops began to fail, the springs began to dry up, and I I was blamed and shamed for the chaos that it followed. I was punished. I was exiled. I was tortured. I was burned at the stake. Until now, I lie in the earth, the deep and silent dark earth, forgotten, forgotten. Forgotten. But I did not die. For I am the goddess and she is eternal. I live in you. I am within every single one of you. And I am awakening, and I am rising up from the underworld. Have you seen me? Do you feel me? I am here, picking up her chalice. I am here, singing her praises once again, dancing in the cycle of life once again, uttering her prayers. I am here beating her drum and dancing the cycle of life. I am her holy chalice. And I am here making the world sacred once again. Making the world sacred once again. Making your world sacred once again. I am priestess and I serve. We honor you. So the priestess, she rules on the inner planes and keeps the magic of life alive. But when the priestess takes it to the outer planes, she presides over the world with love and becomes the Empress.
am the empress. I am a sovereign queen with boundless energy. I build and rule my people with love. I am the ripeness of a fertile idea, serving an unmet human need. I multiply my effects beyond myself to the benefit of the many. I am a vehicle for life to prosper. I am a visionary who implements with success. I am a mother who gives birth to the multitude. I am a benefactress bequeathing to others. I am a creatrix that generates what has never been before. I may have vast power and wealth. You may see me smiling on my throne. But I represent the work of the many. Their hands, their voices, working together as one. I am the Empress, and I represent the power in you to do more and become more than you possibly imagine. Trust in me to rise to your greatness. The key to your success is in service. I am the Empress, and I preside. And so, of course, we want to be entertained. But it's more than that, for when the goddess was forbidden, when her priestesses were buried, the one form that patriarchy allowed her to appear in was as the diva, where she could sing and dance and show the goddess's splendor and shine with her talent. So let us welcome back the diva. this one for all the women in the world rising together. Like a song. 
So much. You know, in this world that we are creating together in harmony, as the feminine rises, we weave this dream of love and beauty. And to hold this vision and amplify this vision requires the archetype of the visionary. Welcome, visionary. the visionary, the divine light of possibility beckons to me from the future. I am the voice of evolution. Imagination is my currency. I am the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis opening my left wing <laughs> and my right wing to demonstrate what lies on the other side of the transformation. I am a prophetess. I see past and future as one eternal arc of creation, always changing form to become its highest expression. I am a seer. Where others see obstacles, I see opportunity. Where others have lost their way, I see the way through. Where others see darkness, I see light in its rainbow of colors for I live at the edge of becoming. 
I am an innovator. I am not content to accept things as they are. For I see and I know what they could be. And I will not stop. My vision is made manifest. I am the visionary. But I invite you to dream with me, to vision now in this moment, a world we are creating together, a world of love and partnership, women rising, men deepening, joining together in partnership, co-creating a new world that we know in our hearts is possible. I am the visionary. I imagine. Alas, all good things must eventually come to an end. For the new vision to be born, the old ways have to die. The caterpillar dies to become the butterfly. And for that, we call on the third sister of the three fates, who is known as the Cutter. She is the queen of death, and she is the one that completes. Welcome her if you dare. Welcome, Cutter. I am the Cutter. I snip the threads in the web of life. I cut the cloth from its unraveling hope. I sever connection with all that you love. I am the completion that precedes all beginnings. My rule is final. You may fear me, but I am the great liberator. I squeeze the last breath from the beating heart. Close the eyes that no longer see. I prepare the soul for its great transition. For I am the great liberator. I free the soul from the husk of its body. I quiet the mind from its ceaseless wanderings. I give you the deepest rest you will ever know. I cradle you in the arms of the empty void and deliver you to the treasure of infinite stillness. I am the dark goddess that brings eternal light. Through me is the gateway to the final mystery. Through me, all things are completed.
I rise to begin again and again and again and again and again and again. I rise as she rises. We rise, rising together. Together, I 